I'm Kerry Artek, Founder and Chief Analyst of Artek Advisory. This video is an update to one that I recorded last May, demonstrating the proper construction of one-third and two-third speed lines, and how they assist in identifying market trends. With the U.S. dollar and New York crude oil generally moving in opposite directions over the longer-term time horizon, and both making substantial directional moves since late last year into early this year, I used speed line analysis to help determine the ongoing long-term directional status for both markets. In last May's video, I finished with this clip. The old trading adage, the trend is your friend, certainly applies here. And in my view, the trend into later 2015 for crude oil remains heavy below the 64.16 speed line and in the U.S. dollar index bullish above 90.97, these levels changing on a monthly basis. Those trend-defining levels based on longer-term speed lines have in fact changed, and in this video, I'll update you on their locations for both the month of July and August. Regarding New York crude oil, the descending one-third speed line projected off the May 2011 high comes in at 62.05 for the month of July, capable of containing monthly buying pressures and below which the directional dynamic into later year remains bearish, expecting a retest over the next three to five months of the 46.09 18-year long-term trend line mentioned in the May video. This trend line comes in at 46.45 for the month of July and rises to 46.64 in August, remaining capable of containing selling into later 2016. On the other hand, an end of July settlement above the 62.05 speed line would indicate a good 2015 low, the 88.40 two-third speed line then expected over the following five to eight months. If New York crude oil holds the month of July below the 62.05 speed line, take note this indicator descends to 60.99 for the month of August, with an end of August settlement above 60.99, then signaling five to eight months recovery into the upper 80s. Moving on to the U.S. dollar index, the ascending one-third speed line projected off the March 2008 low comes in at 91.45 for the month of July and can contain selling through the balance of the year, above which the lower 120s remain a longer-term 3-5 to five year target. At this juncture, a July settlement below the 91.45 speed line would come as a great surprise. In any event, it rises to 91.68 in August, and so the same scenario holds true. An end of August settlement below 91.68 would signal a good 2015 high, the very low 80s then expected over the following 8-12 to 12 months. For those of you actively watching or trading the U.S. dollar index, it should be mentioned a former seven-year channel top has been containing selling pressures since the March high. This formation found at 93.62 for the month of July, rising to 93.67 in August. I'll likely update the crude oil U.S. dollar relationship in later August, so please stay tuned for that and any other market videos. I'm Kerry Artek, and thanks for watching.